Hey guys, Bradm73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. Um, I'm gonna jump right in so we can get started. And I don't know if I have any dirt in here, but um, yeah, we're gonna continue on from where we left off in the last episode, and hopefully make tons more goad. Goad? Go Did I say goad? I'm gonna make some goad. Um. Let's see, 10 days until... Why does it say 10 days to summer? Weren't we like just at autumn? Wait a second here, what is going on? <clears throat> why does that why does it say 10 days to summer in the top right it should say 10 days to permafrost oh my gosh if if i wasn't confused before i started this episode i'm really confused now Um, <laughs> I'm going to start, well, I'm going to kind of start things just by saying, uh, today in here, in the, at least here in the United States, it is Father's Day. So if you are a father, I want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day and yes. And, you know, obviously I'm thinking of my dad today and wishing, um, wishing he was here, but unfortunately he is not but he's definitely in my thoughts. So dad, wherever you are out in the cosmos, um, happy Father's Day and I miss you terribly. So I've been kind of maybe down a little bit because of that, but um, I, I was, you know, I've been thinking about playing some Gold Rush for you guys all day and I have just been getting distraction after distraction after distraction all day today and then we had like a storm blow through and then now I've got a headache it's just like not my day I don't know why do 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 but finally got my dinner and I thought I'm gonna you know before I kind of settle in for the night doing whatever I do in the evenings, I am going to record some Gold Rush so I have something to release tomorrow on Monday, the day after Father's Day. And I can't believe that I think yesterday was the longest day of the year celestially speaking wait we off all right i think i've got i think i've got all the water and power and everything shut down so we'll have to start that up oh my gosh i think i ate too much dinner actually i don't think so i don't think that at all Why does it say 10 days to summer? I I am truly confused. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start, or let's fuel this guy up. All right. Okay, 
He's running. Oh, and then let's also make sure. Yeah. Got to make sure that our um, buckets down here are all hooked up. So let's do that. The hog pans, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so is he working? Yes. Ooh. He's getting a little low on fuel. I'm trying to remember the last time I even filled this up. It's been a few episodes ago. So we got one bucket or one dump truck. Ooh, there's a there's a water hose over there. How about I can see it like I think that fell down in there like a few episodes back and I just never went and got it. Hey. Okay. Do do do. I just want to break. <laughs> I want to break free. I want to break through to the other. Break on through to the other side. Um. Yeah, I want to break through there. I don't know how. Close we'll get to that in this episode, but I kind of got, I got, I just got the 10 days to summer. Why? That means it's got to be spring. It says season two, day 21, or S02. I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, I'm assuming that means season two, day 21. So that shouldn't say... 10 days to summer, I wouldn't think. I would think it would say 10 days to permafrost, unless. Is there something in here that says skip winter? Intense light effects, no. Easy wash plant pit placing. What the heck is that? Temperature. No. Let's go to Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't know if I've just encountered a bug or what. <clears throat> now I kind of want to go back and watch the end of my last episode to see what it said. Guy, if if you guys can let me know, like in my last episode or two, because we were in summer and we should have clicked over to autumn. We should be in autumn right now, right? Okay, we definitely don't need a sluice box. So yeah, I am just absolutely, totally confused right now. I just want to get this I want to get this next clean out finished before midnight so that I can, you know, so that we can get as much
we can get as much of the um, claim rent paid as possible. Now, I don't know why that's not picking up that dirt over there, but... Ah. For whatever reason, it's not. Okay, one more bucket here. So we're going to go kind of in like here. All right. Ninety nine percent. Didn't I just refill? Didn't I just refill this front loader in the last episode? I can't believe it's like so almost empty again. Yes, I understand the fuel is low. So I think that was dump truck number two, right? So we need three more. And I don't think we'll have any problems getting that. Whoop. Now I think what I should try to do after I eh, after I buy this front loader is like maybe start cleaning out the front half of the claim. I don't I don't know. What do you guys usually do? Do you fuel is low? Yes, I know. Do you kind of go after all the rich deposits or, you know, I don't, I don't know what you guys do. Wait, can I hit it kind of up here again? Okay.
We might be getting pretty close to breaking through over there. I don't know. I do not know. Oh my gosh, I'm in a food coma. If I'm not talking very much, guys, I'm really sorry. I am seriously in a food coma right now. Oh, back up. Okay. So this should... I think this will be the last bucket here, so... So what I'll do is I'll just drive this all the way back. We'll park it. I guess we'll park. Man, I would have swore I filled this sucker up in the last episode. Oh, gosh. But maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'm so confused now. Alright, so this is bucket number three. So we only need two more. So we're kind of like starting to really, you know, kick through these episodes. Yet, yeah. what did that say? Oh, 30, okay, yeah, 39% full. Don't really need the uh, fuel in this guy yet. I do, however, need to lower the bed all the way. Or the bucket, or whatever you call it. Okay, don't forget to take this out and put it away. 22% fuel. Uh, we probably will need to go and get um, fuel here soon. Not sure if we'll be able to hold off until the next episode, but we shall see. Hopefully we'll um, hit midnight in this episode, Crunch, and um, we'll be able to you know, sell all the gold that we have and possibly buy the front loader. Ah. Uh. Just six more scoops. I mean, how close are we getting? Oh yeah, we're like almost right there. Sweet. Let's 
So it is very possible we can break through this wall here. Actually, we need to scoop from the bottom, I think. Oh my gosh. You know, another thing we haven't gotten in a really long time is a gold nugget. We've not gotten one of those in quite a long time. I think. <laughs> I don't remember when we last got one. I remember the last one we got was like not, not as impressive as I was. Ouch. Sorry, my back is still like really hurting. I don't know what's going on with my back, but it's like I'm on like day four or five of this. I'm trying to remember if it was Thursday or Friday that I messed my back up. I think it was Thursday, but then another part of me was like, no, it's Friday. And then I'm like, well, it kind of started hurting Wednesday and it's Sunday. So uh, anyways, I'm just complaining for no other reason. Have pity on me. All right, let's... Why am I getting stuck on this dirt? If I'm getting stuck on that dirt right there... Watch it be like the richest dirt. It's like 4,000 ounces per cubic centimeter. I don't even know if that's a met. 4,000 ounces per cubic. Well, I guess that would be. That'd be a lot. That would be a very dense metal. That's for sure. Okay. Engine on. Break off. Let's go. So we're at 56%. And I'm going to need to run up here. Yeah, that's only at 13%. Let's, um, let's go down and get the pickup truck really quick. Because we're going to need to uh, fuel up these guys. Especially the water tanks. Let's just fill this one up since we're right here. I 
Alright, how are we doing here? 8%, 43%. 69% <laughs> Wait a second. Oh no No, oh my gosh, I just screwed myself out of so much gold you guys look at this oh. Oh, I didn't, definitely didn't forget about it. Well, yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I did this. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Learn from my mistakes. Brother. We're going to lose a lot of gold from that, too. A lot. <clears throat> Probably 12 to 15 ounces, I'm guessing. Ugh. That's about as close as a, of a disaster as... Yeah, you know, we thought we would come in this ep in this uh, episode, but and I'm sure you guys are going to be like, "But Brad, why don't you just restore your game and start up the episode over?" And we would never be the wiser. Well, because that's not how I play games. And if you forgot to do it in real life, too, you would be just as screwed. All right. So we're going to have to fill our truck up. So I'm just going to park him out here for right now. Shut the engine off there. And then we'll, we don't have much fuel in here, but we'll, this will hopefully last us until the next, you know, the next episode, or, or actually later this episode, when we go into town, which I think it will. Man, I can't believe I forgot those miners mats, or the, yeah, the miners mosses. Oh. So I think that's going to take me up. Yeah, this is going to be kind of the last uh, last dump truck. Why did I do that? Okay. Uh oh, we're we're around the bend and we can't really see. So I'll have six more scoops after this. Mm-mm. 
Okay. So this will be what, 36 or 37%? 37. Fifty percent. Four more scoops. I want to know why it says 10 days till summer. I really do, because this is really bugging the crap out of me. So I think this is ep episode 34. So if you go back to uh, whatever episode this is, if you go back to the last episode, I think either right at the beginning of that episode or it might be right at the end of the episode before that, is when we switched over to this day in game and what did it say it should have said you know one day to autumn right or fall or whatever i'm pretty sure it said autumn so we should be into autumn right now I didn't change anything as far as like settings or anything. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Oh, did we just break through kind of? Yes, we did. Yay. All right. So I think this is the last bucket for this truckload here. Yep. Okay. So he shut off. I think we can shut him off for a while. Probably shut him off for a while. I almost feel like we can do more. So let's let's do a little bit more. Let's see, eight. Oh gosh, we're getting kind of pretty close to midnight here.
And I'm not I'm not too worried about like midnight or anything. Um, I just want to I just want to have all of the cleanup done so that you know it takes as much gold. You know our our rent provision out so we can kind of see what we've got left. to possibly see if we'll have enough to buy the front loader, because that would really make life easy. So regardless of 1900, whatever the time it is, I'm just kind of digging this up right now. I don't know if it's going to be very gold rich or not, but that's, I'm just digging this up. And then I'll tell you guys, the first thing I'm going to dig up when I get back or the, the first mats we're gonna do are gonna be the, the miner's mosses that I shafted myself with. I don't know if there'll be, a, I don't know if we'll get up to like 30 or 40% on those or not. I think that's pretty good. Let's see, what are we at over here? 94%. So, probably if we dump about 20% of this in there. Probably like that. Okay. Yeah, so whenever that hits a, whenever these hit a hundred percent, actually, the main miners' mosses down here. What I want to hit a hundred percent, or the okay, the bucket has been swapped. That bucket right there. Um, actually, I could go just a little bit more. Because I want the the miners' mosses on this first sluice box, I want those to get swapped out. Yep. See how they're all, they all went to zero. So these are about twenty eight percent full, and we're gonna go ahead and um, shut everything down up here.
This one over here we're going to keep running. Okay, so. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do with, um, with this guy is we're going to move him around so that he's right here, kind of in the middle of all this. Got the bucket, we'll put the bucket right there. And then swap all these out. And then I think I have to fire this up, don't I? Yes, I do. Wait, we got the bucket there, right? Okay. I don't know what happens when you run this thing and the bucket's not there. Probably really bad things, but I just don't know. All right, let's fire all this up. Oh, I was going to do the uh, those other uh, miners' mosses first, but... Come on. Oh, I didn't even see what that said. Four ounces of gold. Oh man, that was pretty gold rich then. That sucks. I'm just tossing these down there for right now. One, two, no. Two, three, four, five, and where did the sixth one go? Ah. Six. Boom. No, oh, brother. Wait, do I need to wrench? Yep. Well, off to get a new one of these. Ugh. That means that the uh, spray thing nozzles for the uh, wave table. Actually, I think I might have gotten the reinforced ends for that, but I don't know. 35 bucks back on that, I'll take it. We should have a couple of these. Ah, oh, there we go. 
started to worry there for a second. I'm like, wait a second, where'd they go? It would have been bad. All right, so we're going to screw that in. Let's hook this, everything up. <laughs> A whopping 8% there. Wow, quite a bit of mag more magnetite than I would have thought. And let's see how much we get. Three point four set or seven four ounces. So yeah, that was quite a bit that we lost. But that's the way it goes in the big city, right? Right, 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 right. Okay. I think we've got this one. Yep. Nuggetator was still nuggeting. back on all right so those are all done okay so th this should be these should be the good mats right cheer too bad you don't have workers to you know put all these mats in here for you that would make the game so much better So, I'm going to dump this out. We're going to come up and get the um, bucket up here. This will be a pretty big uh, load here. This will probably be, hopefully, 15 or 16 ounces just on this. Two hundred and twenty-nine point eight. I think it said point eight two. That's quite a bit. We'll see what this one comes up to. And one hundred eighty-one. So this is probably going to be thirteen ounces or so. Sixteen point four two ounces, and this will be at least thirteen. 
Uh, right around 13, 12.95. So um, there we go. We've got another clean out and not sure about on how we're doing on time. Let's go ahead and shut that off. Just look at this. Oh, 78%. So that's doing pretty good, actually. Shut him off. We can shut these lights off, and then we can head into town. Um, gosh, 165 ounces. Got a fair amount of magnetite in there too, I think, don't we? Ooh, it's like dark and scary. Not really sure what else we're going to need in the short term. Nuggetators. Up. Oh. Let's hook up the hoses so we don't forget that. And then we go, oh, we've got to put these back. See, now watch what happens. Oh, no, it didn't happen. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to swap those out with the dirty ones. <laughs> the dirty ones. See, those look dirty, but they're really, they don't really have that much gold in it. So I'm not going to worry about going through and cleaning those out. <clears throat> Even though maybe I technic, well, no, it says zero. Okay, so they're just have a very light dusting of gold. Okay, we'll hook that up there. All right, so now... Now we are good. I think we're safe to head back into town. Shut all these guys off. I'll kick him on just so he can be filling that one while we're gone. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Before I do that... Wait. Let's go get the bucket of magnetite. Because I think we're what? We got like another 40 ounces... What is it? 20, 28%. I don't know if that's going to be enough to upgrade us at the blacksmith. It might be close. It might be close enough. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if there, like, the only thing I could think of is maybe there was a patch that hit today for Gold Rush. And it screwed up our days somehow. But 10 days to summer would be... That would mean that our our prices should be, ch you know, really cheap. Definitely below a hundred thousand, and they're still showing our old prices. So I don't know what's going on. There's something that's happened. 
And I just hope my save game's not screwed up. Or maybe I'll save the game and then I'll come back in the next episode and voila, it'll magically be back to normal. I, you know, you just don't know with the oh, crap in a handbag. I forgot to drop off the magnetite. See, I get talking about all these other... Yeah, we need to burn up a little bit of time anyway. I was going to go get fuel first, so... And then head over and start making gold bars. Oh. Five thousand six hundred ninety-one. I think that will be enough to upgrade us to the next tier of gold process. You know, gold uh, volume. So I think that'll get us up to like nineteen point five ounce bars. I think we'll we'll find out. Is for you know for twenty ounces that would give us you know nineteen ounces of gold. I don't know what it was before it was that eighteen. Yeah, I think it went went from like eighteen ounces up to nineteen ounces. So I'm kind of thinking it's going to give us like you know nineteen and a half, or maybe nineteen point three or nineteen point four. I just don't I don't know. Oh yeah, let's go get gas first. Just trying to kill the time till midnight. I love how it's like pouring down rain and yet my dude's got his arms sticking out the window. Like, I don't even care if my arm gets wet. Kind of feel like I should sell at least one gold bar because you guys know what happened the last time. Now, if we sold all of our gold bars right now, or all of our gold, we would be <laughs> probably well, we'd definitely be well, well over 165,000, but we would get destroyed on cash with the gold rent penalty. Okay, so upgrade. We're going to do this one. Yep. Boom. So, what's this one? Oh my gosh, there, look at all that magnetite we're going to have. So, next I'm going to go for max. That way we'll be able to make more than, you know, 20 ounces at a time. I don't know what it goes up to 20 or 30 or 40 or who. I don't know. I'm just really interested in what we're going to get for the gold bar. And we'll run it down to the bank and we'll sell it. And then I'm going to come back and then just make everything else into gold, I guess. Yeah, I mean, technically I don't need to, I don't guess, but... Okay. And it is, what is it, 19 point, 
Looks like it says 19.3. Darn it, I thought it'd be a little bit better than that, but I'll take it. And I just want to go down, I just want to sell this bar just to be safe. As far as like what rent and everything is going to come out. I guess I could leave like, I, could, I guess I could have just put all the bars in there. Because I don't think, well, let's see, if we do, I think if I leave about 40 ounces, 40 to 45 ounces in there, we're probably going to be fine. We're probably going to be A-OK. -okay. Shoot. And I just remembered... I don't think there's a way to... I don't think there's a way that I can just... return the... the the front loader from here. I think I actually have to go and drive it into that little return slot back at the our home base. I think I think so. So now comes the arduous task. Of, <laughs> of making all these gold bars. And dropping them on the ground out here. So each one of these is going to be another 23,000. Or was it 22,300? I can't remember already. I mean, we are going to be so close. What really sucks is I'm going to have to run back in. Return. The front loader that we have and then come back and then buy the, the correct one. Correct one? No. Too bad he can't do more than one at a time. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I would have swore I th that was running down. Okay. Got two bars there. That's going to be 60, 80,000. So that's probably going to give us over 90,000 right there. And we're at 2351. So I, I think I should probably just wait. Okay. And I'm just going to leave them on the ground here because then they can't touch anything. All right, 58, 59. Come on. Oh, see, now it says nine days to winter. Okay, so now it's correct. 
Okay, so money spent, machine rent, 9000 So that's going to go down considerably So after we buy this. All right, so we've got 32 left. We'll make these last two bars a 19.3 uh, ounce and a 12-something ounce one probably. And we'll go and sell all those and we'll see how much money we have. Worst case scenario, we do one more cleanup in this this game day and we'll be, you know, even that much more ahead. And then we'll only need about $10,000 a day. Now, as we get close to winter though, I'm going to I'm going to want to have at least 40 to $50,000 to hold me over the winter time because we're gonna have to pay a lot of money to store you know uh, some of the bigger equipment and then we're gonna try to get as much as possible into that barn into that big shed including all the other little bits and bobs so we're gonna have to go and and buy some more of those big crates that we can put all the smaller parts into otherwise that's gonna be a whole nother fiasco Come on, Bree. All right. So technically we can use the rented front loader for the whole day and as long as I think as long as we turn that back in before the end of the day we won't have to uh, you know pay the rent on it so yeah to that I mean that's a hundred thousand right there wish we could just sell all of them we need a sell all button. Yeah, see right there. That's our that's our um, front loader. One hundred fifty three. Did the price even go down? I don't even think the price went down. Um, since, where the heck am I? Oh, <laughs> it's like, why am I driving down here? Let's drive past the store really quick. Let's see if I can buy two. I'm going to try to get two of those in the back of the truck. I don't know if we'll be able to, but points for trying, right? Oh gosh, these are huge. Maybe. Close enough. Okay. And I just want to see, we're going to come over here. Oh, 150, there we go. See, even the rental cost goes down. But, but I, think the, I think the rental cost is dependent on the day that you rent it. Oh, where's that big fuel thing? People keep saying, oh, this thing right here, I think. 
Yeah. Oh, it's only 20,000. Okay. People are like, just get that so you don't have to do the beat, you know. Um, front and loader. See, I don't want to move my... I don't want to move the front loader back here because it's going to cost me to do that. So what we'll do, we'll do another clean out in the next episode. And then um, that'll probably, you know, take us into noon of this game day. And then um, then we'll turn in the, the other, well, then we'll kind of keep, I'll keep working in the episode after that. And then we'll... You know, when we're getting close to midnight or, you know, when we're done with that second clean out or not even the clean out, but, you know, just getting the, the wash plant filled, we will um, turn that in and we'll buy the front loader. Finally. And then everything else is just going to be kind of, you know trying to make as much gold as we can and prepping for winter. Making sure, you know, I've got enough money to carry me through winter. I think I, I, I don't know, do I still have to pay my guys through the winter too? Even if they're not working on the claim? I don't know how that works. So, eh. fill him up. What did I do with the dump truck? Oh, I put it down there. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you so much again, guys and gals, for watching. Um, as I fi finally, we're finally making some headway in this game. And uh, we're finally going to have that front loader. And we will no longer have the rent associated with it. So that's going to, you know... That's going to get, you know, get us another, you know, $6,000 a day in our pocket. Um, my next purchase after that is going to definitely be this hopper right here because it's just cheap. And then we're going to go for the, um, uh, the conveyor here. And then once we have all that stuff, I'm probably going to start saving up for a new shaker. Um, <clears throat> either that or we're going to save up for buying the the plot out because <clears throat> you know once we have you know all all you know once we don't have any rent to pay for um it's just gonna that money is going to roll in a lot faster um and so maybe we'll dig out this front part you know we'll see kind of how things go and um, <clears throat> if we're making a lot of gold off of it, maybe I will. I mean, you know, maybe I will just buy the the whole plot and then we can dig the back out, half of it out and make even more off of that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, thank you all so much uh, again for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like button if you appreciate the videos and enjoy watching. And um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. This has been Gold Rush. I am Bradham73. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now, guys.